Hello and welcome back to Against the Storm. In the last episode, we tried our very first impossible difficulty map, and it turned out to be just that. Impossible. Well, probably not technically impossible, but I lost. So, impossible enough. Uh, as talked about in some of the chats, uh, there were a couple mistakes made that could have saved it. Um, probably would have saved it. But also the other things that save those maps eventually is gaining more bonuses here at the Smoldering City. More upgrades. And uh, we currently have 50 food, only 6 machinery, and 2 uh, artifacts. So there's only a few things we could actually afford to purchase this time. Uh, this, this is a decent bonus here. Um, it would get us wine and the wine cellar to produce wine pickled goods, which would be our first pickled goods recipe. Uh, and barrels, which will also be our first barrel recipe that we can guarantee, other than getting a random ruin. Um, otherwise, we can afford this, which gets us 10 codes per minute, and gets us the weaver, which gets us a nice fabric recipe. Um, and a different ink and a different simple tools recipe. We can also afford this additional trade route, uh, which we need to make better use of trade routes. And as well as the, uh, the brick oven, which gets us pottery, another mush soup, coal, and tea recipe. Uh, we could afford this monastery, uh, the Vigilant Flame, which gets us the temple for religion and education, and also gets us a nice manuscript recipe, offerings and ale. And then finally, we can afford this level 50, which is a additional trader selling tools, luxury items, building materials, and perks. Um, and uh, also this Ar Prosperous Archaeology Cornerstone, which gets a stack of the wealth effect for every cache opened, every two caches opened. So that's interesting. Um, I'm kind of torn. I looked at these before I started. I'm kind of torn between this one and this one. I'm tempted, really tempted to take this one. Um, just because of getting that, uh, getting that, the pickled goods option here gets us some food for a couple of, a couple of races. So it's a, kind of a really good option. And then being able to actually make barrels would be good too. Um, I was reminded in the chat a couple of days ago, I think it was, of the barrels used to be in the lumberjack and, uh, they were, they were placed in the lumberjack with the tools, uh, that are made there now. Um. Which is interesting. That that was during the demo, I think, and then they replaced it for the for the live version. But I think that's a good thing because uh, making the barrels is kind of expensive. You need to have things like copper or crystallized do. So having those early on doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But I think we're going to take this option. Um, it's interesting, at least. The five wine per minute cornerstone would be good to appease the beavers, um, and then being able to make it as well as being able to make pickled goods is a good idea to me. So that puts us to where we have nothing else we can afford. Uh, we've, we've already spent all but one of the 20 and belows, and we don't have enough artifacts for that. We have two deeds completed. Uh, we're still waiting on that one, which, win a game without completing any orders, seems difficult. And Barren Lands, uh, we haven't, just haven't gotten to the Barren Lands modifier yet. Uh, we finished orders from the Queen 3, which is just completing 150 orders. And five new Citadel upgrades, we get to another level, which is a 60 tier. Uh, lots of options, or lots of uh, deeds here we haven't finished yet, but we also got uh, trade goods worth up to 3,000 Amber, so that's really good too. Okay, I think that's uh, good here, and let's back out, and let's let's reset the Blightstorm. We're still in the phase of the Miststorm, we still have to do a few more deeds to finish that up. But, let's see, ooh... All right, you guys are immediately attacking. Well, there's the Baron Lands modifier if we wanted it. Uh, we could also come over here and do this stone wood uh, to get two artifacts. That's really tempting to steal. Really, really tempting to steal. Um, there's only one, no, there's two tiers of normal difficulty here. Uh, these are both in taxing. I think we should try this one. There's no fertile soil in this region, so we do not want any farm type buildings. Uh, we could also come over here to get these five artifacts and a ruined settlement. We haven't seen, we haven't done barren lands yet, so that might be good to do. I think we should steal it from these folks. Let's try it, let's try it. All right, uh, do I wanna take hammers or parts this time? Possibly. It says average amount of soil. 
I still don't really know what that's, that means if it doesn't mean fertile soil, but all, all of the barren man, lands modifier. It must be. Um, uh, counteracts that, but in normal in normal uh, games. Uh, let's take our, our usual supply of wood. 30 meat is always good. Um, 30 vegetables. And I think I'll go ahead and take the, t the 10 hammers for two points. I think that should be fine. And let's go. So we have intensive mutations, riches from plant life blooming on supplements. Riches from plant life blooming on supplements. Doubles bonus resources yield from trees. Okay. It didn't click for me the first time. Uh, complex food during drizzle gives us, uh, gives us motivation. Housing is needed. Otherwise we'll have slow movement. That's at hostility one. Uh, hostility two, clothing is needed to not have them have a 10% chance to destroy their yields. And services at hostility five keep us from having an extra long break time. Of course, we have no uh, fertile soil. We have a bonus to wood cutting and we have a bonus to fuel burn time. So that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and put down our usual woodcutter camp to get built. We have stone here, so we'll put down a stone cutter camp. We also have roots. Um, and we don't have anything to scavenge just yet. We take a look at our buildings here. Uh, the workshop is always tempting to take at first because it gives us all three two-star recipes for the building goods. Um, without knowing ahead of time, trading good or packs of luxury goods might be good. Trading gear, excuse me. And at the furnace, copper bars. Now we're gonna get lots of copper here in this biome. So the furnace wouldn't be a bad deal or a way to smoke copper at least wouldn't be a bad deal because we're going to be getting lots of copper due to the copper in the trees. Um, and it's probably too early for the apothecary. Hmm. I will go against my usual and I will take the furnace. Uh, let's see. Which camp would I want? We want clothing for the bonus during the drizzle. But uh, let's see. According to this, we're not going to see any meat, but we will see eggs. We'll also see wild grain and wild berries. So we could use any of these three in that case. Maybe I'll wait to open up a glade. Draw some lines. And let's go ahead and identify what glades we want to reach out to first. This would be a decent one. This would be decent as well. Or these would be decent. Hmm. I think... I think we'll go this way. This gets us out into the outer wilds here a little bit. Go ahead and take out this. Put our, uh, remove this over here, put our three beavers in, and they can, oops, nope, they can go to town. Okay. But I misclicked that one. Move these over here and uh, put their first lizard in there. We'll let everyone else continue to make the roads. We put our furnace down, let's put our, uh, our crude bark station down first. Put it here, maybe. And then we'll put our furnace down after that. Once we make the two bricks and the five planks. Uh, we'll make more of those, though. But I'm only going to make two bricks. Uh, stone bricks, please. Our first cornerstone. Uh, grain is going to be iffy in this one. Um, because of not being able to farm it. We'll have to just rely on the wild grain, so this isn't that great. Uh, roots per minute's always a good deal. If nothing else, we can turn it into packs and sell it. So, otherwise we can gain one village of each discovered glade. And in the last map, I really could have used this, and I think I got it and turned it down. Because uh, more workers is... It would have been good there because of how much death we experienced. I'm hoping we don't see as much death this time. So I think we're going to go with this one. Hoping. Although we... Well, the only death here... Or death and, and and leaving is is morale. There's no other death, so that's a good thing. 
No death is a good thing. And also, no death is a good thing. Let's see, a market, or a trading post rather, plus five amber gets us hammers and parts and some wheat. Uh, the trapper's camp plus some meat gets us a bonus to meat production. I don't know if we're going to see meat or not. Hmm. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Well, this one's easy and doable. Let's do that one. If we get the other one, I'll, I'll wait. Herbalist plus berries. I think we see berries in this biome, so that would get us a bonus of berries plus crystallized dew for berry production. Or we can make much soup to get a bunch of people. There's only one place, I think? A brewery. Oh, right. Uh, Umber, I think it was in the chat yesterday, mentioned something about... I made, I made some comment about not having access to mush soup, and I think I had a brewery at the time. <laughs> um, we actually have a couple of places that we can get this from. So if we wanted to get a bunch of people at some point mid-game, that would be a thing. But I don't think... Uh, on the other hand... We're not going to be farming berries. We're not going to be collecting them in a while. Let's do this. And a bunch of packs gets us some people and a steady supply of herbs. It's not a bad deal. Uh, or wood gets us some parts and some beavers. That would give me a jump start early. But the steady supply of herbs gets us steady supply of tea later, which might be useful. We talked about turning the roots into packs of crops. Packs of provisions, we'd have to have something like uh, the herbs or eggs. Let's try this one. I'm feeling adventurous. It's an adventure. Chop, chop. Mm, that's fine. Uh, you are going to make stuff. Uh, we'll set that also to 10. I d thought I did, but I guess I didn't. Okay, you're starting with planks first. Let's actually put another human in here just to get them started sooner. Uh, let's see. Eggs. Stone, copper, and a small abandoned cache. Just two copper, though. Um, let's put up... Let's get the trapper, because we get the bonus to the eggs from the trapper. And I think that's a good idea. I think. Yeah, mush soup at the brewery. I'm dumb. Uh, hmm... Let's get the carpenter. I'm gonna flip this over here. I'll take out this tree right here at least. Because okay, I'm gonna put the carpenter in there. Five more planks. Okay, so that'd be ten planks. We'll just do uh, two of these just to limit them down. Um, so that they make the stuff I want them to make first. And then we need our trapper. Uh, let's make it here, though. And then move it. Closer is better. Alright, let's take out a few of these... Oops, a few of these trees here. Just to kind of give myself a little more wiggle room. I actually can take out those as well. And then uh, we'll probably trim some of these, maybe, to get into here. Is there any reason not to open glades during any other season? No, so we can just keep keep going like crazy. You come on over here now. And pick those eggs. We have made... Okay, we've made the bricks. Let's turn that off and make the furnace.
I'll limit that. Uh, because we only need five more after this. And I think they've started loading those in. Turn off the copper bars for now. Right now, just in case we see a... Hey, turn in some copper ore for some free stuff. Recipe. And then we'll make a bunch of bricks. And then pie will come later if we get a way to, make, to get flour or grain coming in. Uh, given the fact that we don't have farming in this one. Let's also take out these two trees. <clears throat> I should put up the uh, makeshift post as well. Maybe I'll move it over here, though. Okay, they're getting free meat from the eggs. I forgot about that. Dang it. Now I wish I'd have taken that other order. That's okay. Uh, let's... Let's stop this. Uh, let's make... Carpenter now? Actually, I should let you make a few more pieces of cloth. And we'll probably back one of these out. So they can help build. Uh, we don't have a lizard to put in here. But I'll put a human in just so that we can get stuff started. I think the lizards just get the, the happiness bonus from this. They don't get a production bonus, so that'll be fine. I'm going to move this over here. Because I should have put it there to begin with, I think. Okay, packs of crops. I think we'll go ahead and start making some of those. Like ten, just to start with. I'll put a human in here. Oh, no, don't put the human in there. We don't have any builders otherwise. Go ahead and finish the building. Uh, provisions. I don't really want to spend the meat, maybe? I don't know. We'll wait on packs of provisions. And packs of building materials. Uh, well, we could use three packs of provisions, I guess. So I should make them out of meat. Limit that to three. I'll make four, but we'll limit it to three. Uh, these guys can come over here, I think, and we can start working on some of this, like that. One, two, three, one, two, three, yep, that's perfect. Uh, we'll turn this on as soon as we get another beaver, hopefully. I'll wait until the until the, uh, group, the group comes. Go ahead and put the human in here now. She can make whichever. Actually, I should focus on making egg provisions, because we are actually harvesting the eggs. The meat is the stuff I brought with me. So if she can make the egg provisions, that's better. Alright, uh, a couple more orders. Hmm. I think we can pull this off, even if we have to buy the 12 jerky. We already have the mush soup thing, though. That would extend it, but I also don't know that I want to get 15 people at one time. So I'm going to pass on that one. Uh, let's see. Packs of trade goods gets us a bonus amber result from that. Or happy beavers gets us clothing bonus. That wouldn't be a bad deal. Uh, let's do the clothing bonus one, I think. Uh, let's see. Uh, one of each is probably a best bet. Plus it gets us some meat and some coal. Not that that's fine. Uh, we are getting copper from the trees already. And we're getting double the amount shown. Because of... This. During... During the drizzle. So, we don't necessarily need this. This is the one that I'm not certain that I'd like. Unless I'm really chopping into glades. Uh, frequently. Which, in this... With this set of bonuses, that's actually not a bad deal because I can do glades anytime. Uh, and may want to focus Glades even on the, the storm when Resolve drops anyway. Uh, but a 50% bonus to woodcutting would also be really good. Let's... Hmm. I really want to try this one. I think I should. I think I should. The problem with this is... 
I'll be opening glades up. I'll be opening danger glades up during the storm. But then again, most of the danger glade things don't trigger until you start working on them. I think we should try this. We're going to run a relatively easy map. Uh, so minus five global resolve isn't a huge, huge, huge impact. I hope. Um, during the other, during these two seasons, especially if we could do things like complex food. Uh, that would be really good. Let's put that beaver in here, as previously discussed. Turn these two off, and we'll let you make 30 logs, or planks, rather. Training gear is a luxury good, I think. Yeah, so if nothing else, we can turn, make training good, training goods, and turn it into luxury goods to sell. If nothing else. We have two people currently idle. Uh, let's put... A lizard in here. And we'll pull this human out. Yeah, we get a global resolve bonus. For, or resolve bonus, rather. For that lizard. Turn that off. And then... Um, human. Make all the fabric. We don't have any stuff to make fabric out of. We're not getting any... We're getting a small amount of plant fiber. Uh, I wanted to put in... Yeah, let's pop this glade quickly. And then I want to come down here and trim this corner out a little bit. Uh, to here, at least. I'm going to go ahead and have them build my other uh, woodcutter. Uh, reeds, dewberries, and copper again. Uh, reeds are the... Um, scavenger, so we can put up the scavenger. We don't have one presently. The problem is that just... Yeah, we need some parts now, though. I think I'll put one of these out of here and put them in here. That way I can kind of spread out my efforts a little bit. We'll uh, work down there for two of you. Lizards are already in the blue. That's impressive. I think this will be the first danger glade I pop, but that one might be second. I got some really nice ones here. Let's go ahead and do the uh, beaver happiness. Wow, that didn't take long. Alrighty then. Oh, because we popped the glade right to 15. Uh, come over here now. And let's move... Nope, nope, nope. Woodcutters camp... Oh, okay. Uh, let's do some of this these trees here just to give myself some area to work uh supplier forager gets me wild grain herbalist gets me the berries but i think the supplier is the best one to do at this stage uh, scavenger can come up here if we have somebody who can scavenge a human can scavenge there's not a bonus inherent in that and we'll do this, and we'll turn this one off. And uh, we can actually delete that building then, also. And we'll let our remaining two humans, for now, build this. I'll wait on the pottery. I am making stone bricks, right? Yep. I'll wait on the pottery until we have uh, some clay, somehow, which we don't have any at this point. I'm going to move you over just a tad, so I can put in the trading post here. I'll put at least one human in here. And then I think I will have the other human come and help with the tree chopping. Uh, no, we want you to build. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're supposed to build the trading post. Uh, we should be ready to pop another small glade, I think. Uh, here? Nope, not what I wanted. I want this. And then once she's done with that, then she can help with the tree chopping. Unless we find something good in this glade to deal with. Yeah. 
Turn off the packs of provisions. Um, do I want to turn that in yet? Possibly. Yeah, let's do it. Let's swap in these uh, beavers here. Put them here to get to work. And let's take our new point. Brewery gets us the mush soup. That's not a bad deal. Uh, jerky is not a bad deal either. The ranch would get us our supply of meat that we've been lamenting about. Uh, flour, we don't have a source of grain yet. Although we could make we could make um, root flour. That is true. I think I'll take the brewery so we can make mush soup. I think that's not a horrible idea. But I also think that this needs to move to pick up some more stones over here, even though it's a small camp. Jorg has arrived. Let's go take a look at Jorg. Uh, we could buy the mush soup, but I'm not that thrilled about it. We can sell these crops. We can sell these provisions. Uh, I think I'll buy some vegetables. And we have a decent amount of vegetables. What's the mush soup recipe look like? Wait. Brewery. Vegetables. We don't have... Vegetables. We can use the roots, too. So we can do roots and vegetables to make much soup. The roots we're getting a steady supply of, so I'm not worried about it. But the vegetables, we could use more. Um, mm, 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 mm. That would have been good to have noticed. Oh, I haven't sold them yet. Okay. Let's uh, sell the pack of provisions. Let's... Um, Hmm. How many of these would I have to sell? Two plus something. Let's do it this way. Trade. Buy that. And then sell the rest of these. <laughs> uh let's take. Maybe we should just take the amber. Let's just do that for now. That much. And maybe just some... Something. Some of these. I think that'll be okay. And we'll make our own mush soup once the brewery gets built. I have to make that out of reeds. We are picking reeds, so that's fine. Chop, chop. Let's actually get these guys down here to help with this task, because uh, most of these guys... Nope, not those guys. Okay. Uh, we'll put a human in here to make... Nope, to make mush soup. Uh, just make... Wait, how many? Twenty. Don't too much soup. George just left. Order ready to complete. Um, I'll wait to do that. I'm hoping we can... Okay. Pop this glade. Come on. There we go. Is that bonus. Wait. Oh, because that one up. Yes. Okay. That's fine. So now we can put our beavers back in this because it uh, doesn't matter now. We're, we're in hostility one, and I don't want to reduce by any more. Here's some uh, wild grain, some stamp, some swamp wheat field, and some wild herbs. So an herbalist camp would be good, and a forager's camp would be good for those. <clears throat> Move this over. We need that clothing going, so we need the clothier or the other place to make clothing. Here. We'll turn this in right off. Pick some new bits here. Packs of trade goods gets us a bunch of 
construction goods and some amber, or having a brewery and a tavern gets us a boost to ale production. We can make root ale as well. So maybe I will consider that one. Yeah, let's do that one. And here. Bunch of packs either way. Grain production is not going to help us much. So maybe this is the better one. Plus, I can sell the crops for more. Because I got that bonus. So let's take this one. A bunch of beavers. We can use them for mining or something later. Meat per minute. More roots per minute. Game five jerky for 10 mush soup. Uh, let's go with the meat permitted option. And let's do the variety of people. Even though this gets us a bunch of coats, we can also make our own coats from our own fabric from this. The cellar, that's brand new. That gets us the three star wine, but we have the two star, no, one star wine recipe here. One star wine recipe here. Nope, wrong button. Uh, this one. There's a coat recipe. It's not a great coat recipe. But I think I need to take it. Wine pickled goods. Because we need the coats. Doubly so? No, complex food. Clothing. Oh, I need housing. That's what I need. Okay, that's what I was going to work on. Um, oh, this one's kind of annoying, though. Uh, huh, huh, um, we could also take the, this to get two-star jerky, two-star skewers. That's complex food for the lizards, at least. Yeah, let's take the Butcher. And the Butcher is a 3x3. Three three. You can go up here, I suppose. Okay. And I think it'll be time to knock into one of these uh, danger zones pretty quickly here. The tree needs to go, though. Uh, let's see. Lizard, make jerky. Uh, don't make a lot of jerky, though. Because we're also going to make that jerky plus some eggs into skewers. So, five meat becomes ten jerky, which is a half a meat is one jerky versus two meat or, uh, to one jerky ratio here. So even though it's an extra step, it's worth it. Trapper needs to move. We don't have anything for you to trap, though. No, we do not. So you come out of there. Um, actually, I'm going to not do this yet. Good, I didn't do it yet. Come on and do this, then. And then we'll figure out offerings later. Um, I don't know what we'll do with them, but figure them out later. Housing, I think, can go down here to start with. Some basic shelters for now. I'm going to wait and not build on that just yet. Alright, now we're uh, coming back down from that high. Uh, you can finish that tapping that tree, that's fine. And then we're going to move over here someplace. Um. Let me delete two of these roads. Oops. I didn't mean to right-click that. You come over here, and we'll put you in here temporarily. And then you can pop that tree and these trees. Jump down there, and we'll rebuild those roads. You should be in there. Um, probably don't need one more in there. Be 
You're bored. You're bored. We're turning all that into packs. Let's take the wheat that we got from something and turn that into packs. So we can have some of the roots left over for something else. Or actually, well, actually, maybe I should save the wheat. Yeah, let's save the wheat. Leave it on that. All right, so we have a fuming machinery, a bunch of uh, damaged buildings, which is great that they're this close to town. Although we can put storage out here, I suppose. A uh, bunch of paved roads that we could pick up if we wanted the stone back. Uh, that's a weaver, a brick oven, and a large abandoned cache. Uh, we also have a bunch of storm birds, so we can put our uh, lizard back out here to work. I need to figure out where I put him. And then uh, copper. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, let's take care of this first. This is perfect. Uh, do I want to deal with this right now? I think I do. Ten bricks is going to have to do. We should probably start some spark do collection because uh, that seems to be common, uh, a common thing to fix these. Uh, so we should do that. Let's do this. Let's uh, find that other lizard. I put him in the butcher. Can I get him from somewhere else? Could get one from the stone cutter. Um, yeah, let's do that. And then we'll put our lizard into our trapper down here. Something like that. Then we have one builder left right now. Uh, who can build us the aforementioned um, rain collector for some spark dew? Could I could loot this cache? Should open this up a little bit more. I'm gonna zigzag this a little, but that's okay. Almost grid aligned. Almost had me. The weaver makes a, that really nice cloth recipe, but not coats. Brick oven, pottery, mush soup, coal, and tea. I might pass on that one. And then the tea doctor is where we sell religion and brotherhood stuff and have the green brew passive bonus that I can't look at. And let's see. I think we'll come this way and then we'll zigzag right here. And we can take this out like that. go. I'll put that beaver in here once we get them back. Which is just about time. Oh, we won't get them back for a moment yet. Alright, we're gonna get some more, um, some more amber out of this. They gotta unload that first. We almost got the, the meat treats done. Stone cutter needs to move. Well, we have some uh, stuff here for you to pick. Come on down. Well, we have to hold it for two minutes. That's right. That's a bummer. I'm trying to keep that mush soup going. All right, that's clear. So we can put our beaver in here. Uh, we could start collecting some of these. Huh. Do I really want this weaver? The simple tools is decent. Uh, the ink? Maybe. The brick oven? A soup, coal, and tea. Coal, maybe. Huh. I don't think I want the weaver. I think I want to just salvage it. Salvage it. Come on, jerky. We can build some more houses too. Oops. Actually, I'll just build them here. Oh, these are probably just going to get taken out. Let's um, take this right away so we don't lose it. And then let's uh, take this. Wild grain, any wild vegetables. This gets us the wild herbs or berries, mushrooms. The tavern gets us this. Hmm. 
<laughs> I think I'm going to take the tavern just so we can build it to get that. Uh, let's see. I think we'll come up this way next. So let's uh, get these guys ready to dig in here. Oh, not right. Not right. Here we go. Uh, this road can go here. Uh, we can take out some trees in this vicinity. Just to keep us moving. Uh, you folks can move over here too to help. And we'll pop into this glade uh, as soon as we can. But um, in the next episode. Because we're at our time. So... We're going to leave off here, and we will uh, take care of that in the next episode. I don't have any builders left. Oh, oops. Pull that out. Um, so we can build houses. And uh, we will pop into this glade. We'll get our next uh, super bonus uh, global resolve. And um, we'll see what that leads to. Thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you then. Bye for now.